Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Star Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I am still working with my Arteza paints that I mixed up and put in little five ounce containers. With a little GAC 800 by Golden in the bottom, there are the colors. I'm going to put my glasses on. I'm going to search around for my tools. And I'm going to try my hardest to actually do what I was going to do in my last video, which um, did not happen, by the way. And it was supposed to be a swipe. And I think what I'm going to do is use the colors that I've got. To fill in with the black and white. I've got some interesting colors. I'm not sure that's my favorite color, but it might be in a minute when I'm done with this. It could happen. I'm going to be tilting my canvas to move my colors into position and meld them together. And when I used to do swipes, I would always use my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst Spatulas to flatten them out. But it's so hot, over 100 degrees out here today, that I don't think that that's necessary. Yes, I am using my fingers to take every last bit of paint I can get out of that container. And then I'm going to scrub my self off a little bit. I've got, I need some, yeah, I need some purple. Oh look, I've got this interesting pink. Not necessarily colors I would second guess would go together well, but I'm pretty sure that they're going to look cool no matter what. I want some white in there. Oh, I've got beautiful blue. This will work. Oh, that's green. Wrong color. I'm used to having squeeze bottles. I'm not used to having little containers. I am going to, when am I going to put some yellow in there? No, I'm not. What am I going to put some? I need some other color in there other than an Arteza. Or I probably have I probably have some other colors that come out better than that did. Let's go ahead and put some gold in there. I remember now, I'm almost out of gold. But that, that'll, that'll work for a start. Let's use some white. It's time to mix up a lot of paint. And I may be doing it for my company tomorrow. Which is fine. It's always good to show people who stop by to learn how to mix paint. How I do it. What else? So, that's enough of that, I think. <laughs> I think we're going to use a purple color for a swipe color. Whoops, right down over the edge. Which is okay. Because that'll help cover that end. And down over the edge on both sides too. The one thing I didn't do was remember to wait on that. I also have an Art Mines turquoise or Mystique or whatever you want to call it. I can't wait to find out what this looks like. I think there might be too much paint on there, but I do use GAC 800 religiously so it should be okay. I'm going to go ahead. Do I have another one of these? Because I'd really rather use a different one. Yes. Okay, they get to be pretty cool looking after a while, but, uh, come on. And you can just put them right down on whatever you're working on, but I like to hold them onto the edge because then I can rock them. Like so. Yeah, there's a lot of extra paint on there. But it's going to be beautiful. In spite of my questionable color choices. You know what? I think I just want to leave some of that on there. Right on that edge catcher. Because I don't need all that paint.
and I will worry about that anon. In the meantime, I hate to get rid of that. But it's not serving me any purpose, adding itself to my canvas. So I'm going to just wipe it onto a cloth. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> I want to look at this. I really think that I would love to have a little more gold in there. And a lot of times it doesn't show up anyway. Boy, neat colors. All right, so here goes nothing. Ah! <laughs> I'm going to refold my swipe cloth. And it is made from the hemmed part of a t-shirt or whatever. I had at the time. Probably a turtleneck since I was coming from Maine. I'll let that drip down right over the end. Touch up my edges with what's on my rag. And say, I think Arteza makes paint that sells very beautifully. That was a lot of purple. And I am pretty happy with that. And I could tilt it down. Oh boy, I got a bunch of, I think I might have wasted a little bit of paint. I really want to just take this go in there like that. I'm going to throw that in the bucket before it gets me in any more trouble. All right, so I've got a lot, stop, i got a lot of extra paint and I need to get rid of some of it. So pardon me, you can watch that for a second. I'll come back. I've got something biting my toe anyway. Hopefully I've beaten it out of my shoe by now. I'm just watching cells pop. Got a lot more beautiful paint there. Agitated paint cells. So if I want the paint to be agitated where it isn't, Steal some and let it be agitated by my skewer. <laughs> and then drip right over the edge. And right there too. Alright, so I'm going to do the same thing I just did while we watch those cells come about. I'm going to throw all that paint from my turntable tile right onto an edge catcher where it either will or it won't become interesting and I'm done for the day so I'm not going to be finding that out other than now I have a little bit less paint on my tile. I got seven whole minutes left. Swiping does not usually take an awful long time. Dry off my hands Steal any paint that I need to to make sure that I'm covered everywhere I want to be covered. That purple covered better than usual. Pretty happy about that. I got a naked end. I got all kinds of paint I can use on my edge catcher over behind me if I need to steal some. But um, but um, but um, but I have plenty of paint right here also. I'm always tempted to tip. I'm always tempted to um, to skewer. Sometimes I'm tempted to chain pull. I think that's gorgeous. I would really like that to sell right there. We torch to release the bubbles in the paint and the patterns in the paint because the pouring mediums that I use are deco or pouring medium with Floatrol half and half, and I start with a combination of acrylic paint and 
GAC 800 by Golden to make sure it doesn't crack when it's left thick. And I like to leave my paint thick for obvious reasons. I'm going to continue to torch and I say I love you guys. There's over 72,000 of you. There's probably closer to 73,000 by the time this video airs. There's a contest that you can see the prizes for on the end screens in the last 20 seconds of this video every single month. Probably on an exhibition video it will mention the word prizes and you should check that out. If you're a contributor to the studio to help, help keep me keep me motivated, help keep me moving, help me keep me making videos. It's all down to you guys. You helped me out immensely so far. Thank you so much for all the support and uh, thank you for all the great comments that also keep my morale up. I really appreciate that too. I love you guys very much. That was just bothering me. It just looked like it needed a little less canvas and a little more black moment. So give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. It helps the YouTube algorithm know to place my videos where more people can find them and the more people that can find them the more likely I am to keep doing this for you guys. I have to remember to never stick my skewer in to anything with Arteza after I have started by heating it up. Even a finger is a bad idea because um, the surface gums up and she's still doing it right as she says not to. <laughs> I'm just tempting fate. Anyway, I'm not going to tempt fate anymore. Look on the end screens from my website and over 725 videos that you can uh, check out and peruse. The longer you watch, the better off it helps me out. And uh, what else? They're on my Facebook pages, you can find Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group, which is for students, and Expressionist Art Studio um, Fans and Collectors, or some variation on that theme, which is for fans and collectors. And if you join the group, you'll be able to see the first um, the first wet and dry artworks that I posted to the albums 1, 2, and 3 while I was trying to keep up, keep up. And I can't keep up, but I do post new stuff there all the time. Underneath the video also are um, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, and my paint pouring recipe. Also immediately under the video you will find Teespring clothing. It doesn't say Teespring, but um, it's affiliated with me. It's my, my designs on there. We just produced, we I should say Catherine just produced, Catherine Murphy just produced um, an apron for her company, Hands of a Woman, and it says Because I Can, which is my company slogan and the name of my book, on the Amazon link under Show More under the video in blue. First thing you'll find there most of the time. There should be a coupon for Arteza under there this month also. So um, I don't know what I've forgotten. There's so much to remember, and, and it's just too darn hot to remember it all. Hey, look, I found a list. Maybe it'll tell me there. Okay, I mentioned the book, I mentioned, yeah, um, hey, my artwork is for sale! Ha ha ha! Go figure! And if you buy my artwork, you help support the studio. Also, I enter you in the contest if you buy a piece of artwork, automatically. And if you uh, want a lesson and you happen to be in Florida or in the Spring Hill area, or you want to fly from the other end of the country, like some people do sometimes, um, I would be more than happy to meet you and help you out and give you a lesson. And uh, if you contact me through my website or at EASPB Gallery, Word Gallery, all the rest are initials. I will get back to you with an email address. Excuse me, I will get back to you with the, uh, with the details. All right, so I've talked long enough and uh, we're gonna run out of time, but not for a while. <laughs> that, was, that was quick. I think this is fabulous. Not certain about that color, but it looks great in combination here. So I'm really pleased with that. And um, I'm never going to stop doing wavy swipes because they just float my boat like you wouldn't believe. I love you guys. I said that. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard ready to get the paint out of all the little crevices <laughs> and go throw myself into the pool. Much deserved, by the way. Bye for now. Priscilla out.